So just so you guys know, before you watch this Tennessee Titans realistic rebuild, or it should have been a realistic rebuild, I did this before the Julio Jones trade. Don't have time to record any other videos. That's why I don't have lights or anything up in here. That's why I look a little bit different than usual. I hope you guys enjoy. I have surgery coming up soon, so I don't have time to record another video. Hope you guys understand. But thank you for all the support and enjoy the video. So today I'm doing a realistic rebuild of the Tennessee Titans. I'm lame. And this should be an interesting team because they need help at receiver. They have A.J. Brown, of course. Josh Reynolds, really not a number two guy. Rodgers, Johnson, not going to be the answer. They do have a somewhat decent offensive line. Ran on so right on, so I don't know how to say it exactly. At right tackle, they have Nate Davis, Ben Jones, Lawan, Saffold. A lot of them are getting up there in age, though. And then we have Ryan Tannehill, of course, Derrick Henry. But Ryan Tannehill at quarterback, I believe in real life he's 32 in this. He's probably, oh no. So he's going to be 33 in real life. He's 32 in this. That's fine. Now, I like Ryan Tannehill. Do I think he's an 87 overall? Probably not. I am very intrigued to see what he does with just Derrick Henry, just A.J. Brown. I mean, Reynolds is going to have to step up big time. Then on defense, I gave Caleb Farley star development. You could argue you probably should have superstar. Might have been the best corner in the draft class. But he's injury prone, but we have injuries turned off. We have Evans, we have Brown, we have Landry, Bayard, Farley. We have to work on corner. We have to work on the defensive line, even though we have Jeffrey Simmons, Autry. I would like to get a little bit better. And then, of course, Bud Dupree. I don't know if they gave his age right. Yeah, 28 years old. I think they gave him a one or two year deal. I am going to check on that in one second. But I do think at some point we are going to move on from Ryan Tanhill. Probably in two years, I would say. I actually don't know what his contract situation is like. Let's take a quick look at that. It might be three years, four years, four years. Now, of course, that's three years in real life. I might lower that because he's going to regress big time in Madden. Do I think he'll regress big time in real life? It really depends on how much he depends on A.J. Brown. And he used to have uh, Corey Davis, of course, John U. Smith. He just doesn't have all those weapons anymore. Now, A.J. Brown's great. Derrick Henry is great. We're going to have to wait and see. By the way, I am recording this on June 4th. So if they trade for Julio Jones, nothing I could do about it. I don't think they're going to end up with them. Maybe they do. We're going to have to wait and see. But as of right now, we'll do this without Julio Jones. If the trade happens, I will be doing a video on it. But as of right now, we're just going to stick with this team. Let's go to the midseason. So Bud Dupree signed a five-year deal. People in my Twitch chat told me that. Then I looked it up. But we are in first place at the midseason market, five and two. Jags, four and three. Colts, three and four. Texans, two and five. And the Texans have Deshaun Watson in this. Monty Rice. I like Rashad Weaver, but... I'm really not too concerned about that. Let's go to the playoffs. So we didn't win our division, which is a little concerning. We're 9-7 and seven playing against the 11-5 Chiefs. So the Jaguars probably won it. They did it 11-5. I could totally see that if Trevor Lawrence plays out of his mind. The Colts 7-9, maybe if Carson Wentz does well. And then the Texans 6-10. A lot of rumors that Watson might play this year, which I kind of doubt. But, I mean, maybe. Tannehill had a fantastic year. 4,000 yards, 40-10. and 10. I mean, that could be MVP. Henry, 963, five touchdowns. Don't know about that. Chester Rogers, 1,100 yards, nine touchdowns. Ferkser, 1,000 with 13. AJ Brown, 840 with seven. What are we talking about? Reynolds, 617 with seven. Henry with two. Not really a catching back. Brown, 125 tackles, 110 for Evans, 105 for Caleb Farley. Uh, sack totals, almost said interceptions. Eight for Jeffrey Simmons, six for Dupree, three and a half for Brown. And interceptions, six for Janoris Jenkins. Wow. 84, I mean, that's really not that bad. Three for Brown, two for Hooker, two for Farley, one for Landry, and one for Farley. We're 23rd in offensive yards. That's just awful. Mahomes MVP, Tanhill at five. I am going to look at Patrick Mahomes in one second because 4,040 and 10, pretty good, I would say. Pete Carroll, coach of the year. AFC offensive player, Tannehill at three. Defensive player, Miles Garrett. I thought Jenkins might be up there. Brown is at three, though. Offensive rookie, probably nothing. Defensive rookie, maybe Farley? I guess not. Why isn't Farley up there? Oh, we're going to check out Mahomes. My bad, my bad. Let's see. AFC West. Less yards, more touchdowns, less than or so. All right. All right, that's not totally unrealistic. Now, I do have my XP sliders on, but let's take a look at the XP. One for Hit Tannehill, two for AJ Brown, three for Radunce, Radunce, however you say it, I apologize. Three for Farley, tons at linebacker, two for Bayard, two for Simmons. Let's take down the MVP, shall we? He ripped it right out of our hands. 
they're up seven to nothing. I'd like to score and not get embarrassed. I know our defense is not all that great. It's 21 to nothing though. 24 to nothing. We didn't even kick a field goal. Now we did. This is embarrassing. This is what I mean though. Tannehill without Corey Davis, John o. Smith. I know Corey Davis, not the best receiver in the world. And we are playing the Chiefs, but we should do better than this. We easily should do better than this. Mahomes 325, five and one. Tannehill didn't even throw for a touchdown. Elair 77 yards. Henry 55 with a touchdown. Harmon 59, touchdown. Kelsey, Tyreek 122 with two. Elair with a touchdown. Touchdown for Robinson. Great year one. The Jets took down the Packers 44-38, and that's the Packers with Aaron Rodgers, so I don't believe this for a second. Jameis Winston, oh, Jameis Winston. Jameson Crowder, Super Bowl MVP. I never see receivers win Super Bowl MVP, but I'll take your word for it. Monty Rice, no, I understand Edelman did. It's okay. Did he? I think he did. I believe he did. I should know that. I believe he did. Now, I only like to sign players if they got franchise tag. Dante Hightower's up there. Melvin Ingram hasn't been signed. I kind of like the idea of Richard Sherman or even Steven Nelson. Steven Nelson would not be that bad because Jenkins is regressing. What if we go two years, 5.1, 3.57? Beats out the Packers. Malcolm Butler, want to come back? I'd love to see you back in Tennessee. I'm kind of surprised they cut him in the first place. I know he hasn't been playing out of his mind or anything like that, but still surprising. We got Steven Nelson, 50-year option, maybe Jeffrey Simmons, if I were to guess. Rashad Evans, so Simmons is next year. That's fine. So we have the 19th overall pick. There's a free safety in Newberry, even though we have Bayard. And then there's Devontae Jett, who runs a 4-4-2. Does not seem that bad. We really need receiver help. I'm going to go Devontae Jett. He's probably going to have normal development, but maybe I'll get lucky. Didn't think so. 91 speed, 94 acceleration, 82 catching, 81 catch of traffic. Good run after catch, which is fantastic, but 73 overall makes him our number three guy, I would assume. I think Reynolds was a 78 overall, if I remember correctly. And there was that free safety there who's probably going to be gone. He is gone. There was a lot of outside linebackers and running backs who were also gone. I don't really like Tony Soto all too much, but I don't really have a choice now, do I? We're going to take Burnett later on. Let's take Tony Soto. He's a 71 normal development. I guess that's not bad. 60 power moves, 77 finesse, 82 speed, and 82 acceleration. In the fourth round, I took right end Nate Bridge, who's a 70 overall, but has hidden development. Where does it say he's ranked 43? Yeah, makes a ton of sense. 75 power move, 59 finesse, 78 speed, and 86 acceleration. So we're an 81 overall team with an 81 offense and an 83 defense. Tannehill is up to superstar, which is good. The computer drafted a left guard with hidden development, but a 61 overall. He'd have to almost be superstar to be worth it. I am just going to cut Josh Reynolds because Chester Rogers got a dev upgrade. We have Jet, who I'm actually going to make. Oh, nope, nope, nope. I'm going to make him a number two guy. Then on defense, I made bridge start. Dupree's up the start of element. And I almost want to cut Bayard or actually... I don't think I'll get anything for him, but if I can, maybe we'll manually trade him away, get like a second round pick or something like that. Even though that seems a little bit too much for him. We are getting trade offers. Okay. Three, four, three, three. I guess threes aren't bad. Uh, oh, double fours though. I like that a lot. A little bit more than a three and a six. I'm going to send him to the Lions who should be an awful team in this. Let's go to the midseason. So we are in first place again at the midseason market. Five and two. The Colts are four and three. Jags three and five. Texans two and five. The Texans just in this game are so up and down, even though they have Deshaun Watson on their team. I don't really understand it. Now, I want to bring back Landry, of course. We have $64 million. Give him a seven-year deal. Why not? Ben Jones, I'm going to wait on. Ferkser is up to start of element. I missed that. That's actually pretty big. We can get him for four years for nothing. Red Ents, Red Ents, however you say his name. Should have got a five-year, actually a four-year deal, I guess, not five years. But that'll be fine. Molden, Rodgers is up there with start of element. I'm going to wait on that and see how he does. So we ended up winning our division at 9-7. and seven. We're playing against the 10-6 and six Pats. They have Cam Newton. That's going to be a problem. Texans 8-8, eight eight, Colts 8-8, eight eight, the Jaguars 5-11. and 11. Tannehill, 4,500 yards, 40-12. and 12. Can he win the MVP this year? Probably not. I want to go to the NFL. Let's go AFC. So we have the most yards. We have the most touchdowns. Uh, I guess I'd have to go the other way for that, but... I think we're going to win MVP this time around. Henry 1,000 with 12 touchdowns is awesome. A little low for him, though. Rodgers 1,100 with 9. 
Definitely love how he's playing. Should go up to superstar. Maybe not because he has nine touchdowns. AJ Brown, 1,000 with nine. Ferks are eight, uh, 960 rather with five. Jet, 900 with nine. That's awesome for a rookie, but he's not going to get that dev up. 141 for Brown, 115 for Evans, 102 for Farley. Sack total, seven for Simmons, six to Dupree. Interceptions, four for Brown, who should win defensive player of the year. Two for Farley and one for Autry. Where is, uh, it wasn't Soto, right? It was the other guy we drafted, Bridge. I had him starting, but he got half a sack, a sack and a half, rather. I don't even beat out Josh Allen. Coach of the year. This game just doesn't make any sense. We're number two. We have Brown at four, who probably should have won defensive player of the year. Offensive rookie is Jet at two. Defensive rookie, Burnett taking it home, defensive tackle. Bridge at five, Soto at seven. So we do have a lot of good rookies. I actually didn't see how much Tanhill regressed. Oh, he's still in 87, so that's not Brad. Four for Jet, Rogers with three, Newhouse with three. Star, three, I guess that's all right. Burnett with three. Can we dig down the Pats who probably have Cam Newton on their team? So the answer, spoilers, no. Because Cam Newton, very good in this game. Even though Tannehill's good in this game, except when he's on my team. But just take that for, you know, for what it is. 21 to three in the third quarter, 21 to six. I mean, at this point, I have to get rid of Tannehill. At least put him on the trade market. He'll look for a quarterback. Stuff like that. Did we score a touchdown in either playoff games we've seen so far? I don't think so. And it is Cam Newton, right? Of course. I mean, I knew the answer. Newton, 335, 3-2. Tannehill, nothing. White with a touchdown. Touchdown, Henry. Touchdown, Aguilar. Touchdown, Jonu Smith. The Bengals took down the Cardinals, 24-21. Trey Hendrickson, Super Bowl MVP. I guess that's why they brought him in. Because I've questioned that so many times. Ben Jones, no. Molden, no. Rodgers, it's so cheap that I have to bring him in, unfortunately. Farley can go. Swain can go. For a year, this won't be bad. We have to move on from Tannehill, though. Uh, we just ha He's not doing anything for us. I'm just going to move on from him if we can. We have $26 million. Harrison Smith's up there. Baker Mayfield, of course. Michael Gallup and Sutton would be interesting, but we have Rodgers, Brown, Jet. Wouldn't make a ton of sense. Ronnie Harris, on the other hand, I do like a lot. Let's increase the money a little bit. Is there like a... I don't want that. McGlinchey's up there, but not really a great move. Najee Harris, of course, won't be a free agent. Unless something bad happens. Any young quarterbacks? Mac Jones is up there, but we're not going to do that. Trubisky. Kellen Mond's up there once again. Ian Book. Jamie Newman's up there. So who do we make offer to? Just Ronnie Harrison? We can bring him in. That'll be fine. We have to look quarterback in the draft. If we have to trade up, that'll be fine with me. I really do think we got Ronnie Harrison. I do think this will be Jeffrey Simmons. So we have the 20th overall pick. These quarterbacks aren't worth trading up for. Uh, he could be good, George Stewart, but if he has normal, I mean, he could have good traits, I suppose. But I don't want to trade up. You're going to have to trade next year's pick. It doesn't really make sense to me. And if we can get that quarterback in the second round, if he's still there, which he is, I think that's one of the guys that we could get next round. And now where I'm thinking is we go offensive lineman or corner. Of course, both of them are bad. What about Wheeler? Bad. What about Sutton? Bad. He might be good, but we don't need him. I, I really do think, I think I'm just going to trade back because we're finding outside linebacker. We have Bud Dupree on a huge contract. Landry, of course. We're in 22, so we could do that. Mm, that wouldn't be bad. Neither would that. Is there any one and one somehow? No. I think what I want to do is trade back with the Saints or the Seahawks. The Seahawks are always great because of Russell Wilson. The Saints, on the other hand, probably not. Um, like, look at uh, Falcons. We'll just give you one pick next year. Let's trade back with the Saints. I don't think I'll regret that all too much. They went with Henry Baldwin. It's not bad. If the quarterback is here in the second round, though, we're going to take him. He could be gone, I suppose. He's not. Luke Carden, 73 hidden development. What a move. 91 throw power, 78 deep, 82 medium, 79 short. In the third round, we're going to take another receiver in Marco Way. 75 normal development. That's a great pick. 91 speed and acceleration, 78 catching, and 76 catching traffic. He seems really good. I wish he had hidden, but 
So Tannehill actually got up the Superstar X Factor, which means I might mainly trade him away because he is playing pretty fantastic. Could get another first round pick, potentially. I don't know if he's worth maybe a number one. I want to see what the offers are from the computer. A second round pick. I'm actually going to go to the Giants and manually trade and see if they'll just give me a first round pick. Just straight up. You think the Giants might do that if Tannehill is playing like he is. Granted, he's playing bad in the playoffs. I don't think a team would necessarily get rid of him. Okay, that's good. So we are, what are we now? We're an 82 overall team. But we have an 85 defense, which isn't that surprising because we have great linebackers. But Hooker starting Harrison. I love the linebackers. Even New Dupree already regressing. That's a problem. Simmons up to superstar. Awesome. Oh, Bridge isn't even high enough to overall to start. It's a little bit of a problem. But I think we're good. Well, that's not a good sign. We're 2-5 and five at the midseason mark behind the Jags and the Colts. A.J. Brown we're definitely bringing back. It's so just foolish that he fell to the second round. I remember he was on the board when the Pats picked. And I was like, oh, they should go receiver. They should go receiver. Nikhil Harry. Like, what are we doing? I remember listening to so much draft coverage. And I didn't even hear that name once. And then I heard all the experts talking about it. They're like, I don't really understand this pick. And that's where we are today. Saffold can go. Nate Davis, I do want to bring back. We have a ton of money, which is good. I think we have this this year and three more. After this, Amani Hooker, I'd actually like to bring back as well. Very, very cheap. $20 million, five-year deal. David Long, Bryce Love. All right, let's go to the playoffs and hope we make it, even though we're not going to. Didn't make the playoffs. Kind of expected that. We went 6-10, and ten, tied with the Texans. The Jags didn't even do well at 8-8 eight and eight in the Colts 7-9. and nine. That's not bad. 4,500 yards, 32-14. and 14. I actually like that a lot. Granted, Tannehill played great in the regular season. Henry 1,000 with 6. Evans with 10. Rodgers 1,200 with 8. He's still not going to get the dev up. He really should. Ferkser, 1,000 with 6. Jet, 900 with 6. Brown with 7, 840. On defense, Brown, 125. Evans, 114. Farley, 103. Sack total, 7.5 for Evans, 7 for Burnett, 6.5 for Landry. Interception, 7 for Steven Nelson. I almost feel like I have to bring him back now. 2 for Brown, 1 for Farley, and 1 for Ronnie Harrison. Our quarterback could win MVP. I guess not, but he should be up there. There's, of course, George Stewart. And we traded with the Saints, right? They're 11-5. I blew that. Our quarterback's not even up here. Coach of the year, Kyle Shanahan. AFC offensive player. He has to be up here now. Carden at 9. Defensive player, we have Nelson at six, which is good. Evans at nine. Offensive rookie, we got that. Defensive rookie, nothing. What I do want to see, though, let's go to the Saints really quickly. Ah! Why? Why? He's going to have star. Why? I have the worst luck. I just want to throw the controller just across the room. Madden 22, please. Please come to me. And then the Chiefs beat the Cowboys 38-21. Mahomes Super Bowl MVP. A lot of variety in this game. Grant, I know, because we're like three years into the future. There should be some variety. I didn't even know Hook could turn this down, to be honest. Let's increase the money a little bit. That's good. Ben Jones, I think. I, the problem is we're not going to find better than him in one year unless we get really lucky in the draft. Yeah, that's good. So we have about $55 million. Aaron Jones is up there. Of course, we don't need that, but it's very tempting. Jamar Chase, we're not going to do. Fuller, Lockett, Gary. Ionitis. I, the problem is we don't really need much. We need corner help. Offensive line help. I wish I knew he was going to be on the board. We'll put Bradbury to a different position if we have to. Give him all the money. I don't know if I've ever brought him in. Evans, Brown, they're both so young. Kyle Fuller. Give him a one-year deal, I guess. We have, what, three first-round picks? So we should be able to get something done. Do we re-sign Brown? We did. And Evans. Okay. Tevin Jenkins. Uh, I doubt it. Well, we traded Tannehill, then he became a free agent. Okay, that's cheesing a little bit, but it is what it is. Bradbury is good. The fifth-year option. Fuller turned us down. We don't have a fifth-year option. Why is that? I don't know why that is. So we have the sixth overall pick. The Heisman is a quarterback this year because that's my luck. 
six twenty one, and then what? Twenty nine. If Abbott's there later on, I do think I'm going to take him. But at this moment, I think we have to go offensive line. That's so bad. That is so bad. I, I can't go Colangelo this early. Oh, there's a lot of good offensive linemen. You know what? I'm going to go Warren Foley. He's a 75 normal development. That's fine. 87 strength, 75 run block, 70 pass. The quarterback is gone. It's a late first rounder, but who am I to say? Uh, what do we do with this pick? There's really not much we need anymore. We could trade Bud Dupree away or cut Bud Dupree if we really wanted to. Receivers were actually set with. Am I about to trade back again? I think I am. Any one and ones just in case. I like to check that first. No. So let's trade back with the Bills. Get another second round pick. I believe now we have two second round picks. I'm about to take love. Why not? Let's take real love. 76 normal development, yeah, number two, yeah. With one of our second round picks, let's take a chance on Chadarius Irwin. 72 normal, all right. We didn't get Kyle Fuller, so that's not an awful pick. Once again, always hoping it's in development, but it's never going to be. Thurman, 69. Okay. Uh, I don't think there's any first round talents left. Uh, do we have an early third round pick? Where's it say McFarland's gonna go? Late third round, so he'll be next round. Let's take Jimmy Mills. 71 hit in development. Awesome. 90 strength, 75 run block, 84 pass. Block. Now in the third round, let's take McFarland. Like I said, I was going to do 68 normal. That's not bad. Not very good. He doesn't seem that bad. So Cardin is up the superstar development. I hope that matters, but we're an 85 overall team. Offensive line's looking good. Ben Jones will be gone. Mills will be the backup. I mean, Lawan has to be gone eventually. He's 32. Actually, what is his contract situation? Because if we could cut him right now and start, that's probably bad. You know, yeah, that's really bad. I'd rather just let him play, I think. Maybe make a shot at the playoffs at least. And then on defense, Evans is up to superstar. There's just not much to do with this team. Just a lot of good young players, which is very strange to say. The midseason mark, we're tied for first place with the Jaguars at 5-3. and three. The Colts 4-4. Four and four. The Texans 2-5. and five. Derrick Henry... I wouldn't bring back a 29-year-old running back in real life, but I think realistically he will come back if he's still playing as great as he's playing in this. Simmons is coming back. Lawan is gone. I can promise you that. A little bit of a rhyme right there. Christian Fulton. He's the number two guy at the moment. I don't really want him to be our number two guy, but that'll be all right. Evans, Williams. Yeah, we're good. We did not make the playoffs. Not a huge surprise. We went seven and nine. Ah, the Jags and the Colts went eight and eight. Cardin, 4,000 yards, 31 and 5. That's a good year. Henry, 1,000 with 9. Good year. AJ Brown, 950 with 5. Rodgers, 909 with 7. Why the drop off? Jet had 5 touchdowns. Nothing really exciting. Brown, 114. Sack totals, 5.5 for Evans. 6 for Irwin. That's good. The rookie. 2 for Hooker. That is the rookie, right? I think so. I think so. We're 25th in offensive yards. Mahomes, another MVP. Mayfield on the Raiders. That's a way to go. Coach D or Joe Judge, AFC offensive player. We traded with the Bills for 8-8, eight eight, so that's pretty good. Uh, there's Cardin at 8, defensive player, nothing. Offensive rookie, Ryan Love, doubt it. Ryan Love, however you say it. Irwin, defensive rookie of the year. I mean, we're going in the right direction. It's just like, and I assume someone's saying that in my Twitch chat right now. It's just the traits of the quarterback, which is unfortunate. Mills has star development. Was he our only hidden development? I believe so. Yeah. The Packers took down the Cincinnati Bengals 33-28. Devontae Adams, Super Bowl MVP. I don't typically do this, but I want to see if it's Jordan Love or if it's Aaron Rodgers. And if I had to guess, uh, who'd they play against? I don't even know. I know it was the Packers. The Bengals. That's right. So I went right past that. Okay, so it is Rodgers. I'm going to say Love's there, but 12 yards. That'd be quite the victory. Who do we have to bring back? I don't think, I know Lawami don't want to bring back. There we go. We have $61 million. The offensive line is good. We could use Odell Beckham. It's like not the best move in the world. Don't get me wrong. Oh, man, I hate this move. But having A.J. Brown with Odell Beckham, with Jet, with Way, I think that'll help us out a lot. 
Don't need Cameron Jordan. Don't need Shaq Mason. He could use Schwartz and put Radons, Radons over the left tackle. That seems like kind of bad. But we're like, we're in the situation where we're kind of stuck with our quarterback unless we just bring somebody in, which maybe we'll look into. Maybe. Faramuse up there. Bateman. Lawan. Don't want to bring him back. He can go do busting with the boys. Let's skip. Beckham, Schwartz, that's good. Fifth-year option. This is the guy. It must be the guy they took. So we're looking at the draft stories. Bell, the top story, says if the Titans could score a solid quarterback, they might get the boost they need to sneak into the playoffs. Then right under that, Ross Tucker, the Dolphins are listening. So we do have two first-round picks. It is 15 and 19. It's just not worth it. It's not worth it. If he's there at 15 or 19, I'll take him. But I'm not trading up to one to take just some mediocre quarterback that's not going to be all that great. I said I was going to take him. I almost have to. I'm hoping there's a corner down here that'll be like, eh, you know what? But there's nothing else. I'm going to take a shot. Hayden Poole. 72 hidden development. Pocket style quarterback. Looks really good. With the 19th pick, we're going to go right outside linebacker Anthony Ingram. He's a 74 normal development. It's a backup, but he actually he seemed pretty good. But he's just a backup, unless we get rid of Bud Dupree. Late, you know the deal by now, Dusk. If that is your real name. In the second round, I went defensive tackle Sheldon Clay, who has hidden development, 73 overall. 85 strength, 69 block shed, 67 power move. 76 finesse so i put carded on the trade block i'm not guaranteed to trade him away like this i might manually trade him away i thought somebody would give me a first round pick i am going to do a manual trade get some sort of first round pick this year okay it's just kind of a crime if we trade away a 24 year old 85 overall quarterback and don't get a first round pick what team needs a quarterback badly the broncos do give me a first round pick done deal all right, that was pretty easy. So we are an 84 overall team, 83 offense, 87 defense. Schwartz, Radunz, Davis, Bradbury, Foley's good. Poole, Henry, Brown, Beckham, Jet on defense. Ingram is starting. Oh, so Dupree's falling pretty badly. Not a huge deal. Not too concerned about that. Clay is a backup. Soto, Bridge. All right. At the midseason mark, we are in first place at 5-2. and two. Colts 5-3. and three. Texans 4-3. and three. Jags 4-3. and three. So we might not make it, to be fair. Schwartz, no. Bradbury, probably. Burnett. Burnett actually might be worth just letting him walk away, unfortunately. Even though he has star development. We're going to wait on Burnett. Bridge, I'm definitely going to bring back if they'll ever let me do it. Thank you very much. Do that and that. That's good. Soto, no. Bird, no. Dupree, Newhouse. I think we're good. We'll wait on Bradbury. You probably don't need that, but we'll wait on him. New quarterback, same results. Missed the playoffs. We went 9-7 behind the Jaguars at 10-6. Texas 8-8, eight eight, the Colts 7-9. Pool 44 in the yards, 29-16. I don't like that, but the yards are good. Henry 1100 with 6. Rashad, Rashad. Ryan Love with 13 touchdowns. Blocking, very important. Jet, 1200 yards, 12 touchdowns. Up to star? Took him long enough. Nine touchdowns for Ferkser. Four for Brown, 900. Three for Beckham, 800. On defense, Brown, 134. Sack totals, eight for Simmons, seven and a half for Burnett. Interceptions, four for Evans, four for Brown, three for Irwin. And then a few ones. All right. Let's take a look at our star development quarterback. Superstar right off the bat with 8XP. All right. I love that. On defense, the Packers with Jordan Love beat the Dolphins 37-14 to win the Super Bowl. Very, very interesting. Oh, I forgot to look at the awards. None of our players. Josh Allen, NFL MVP. Big surprise. Now, Bradbury. It seems like Schwartz is gone. Oh, we didn't. That's right. We got the defensive tackle with hidden development. How could I forget? Now, I don't know if we want to bring back Bradbury for the final year and then move maybe Mills over, or Ray Dunce over, and then Mills over to right tackle. That might be the move. Clay has star. All right, I'm going to bring back Burnett. Nope, didn't mean to click on that. And I definitely am going to bring back Bradbury. If he wants to come back, I'll give him the option, I suppose. Not really, though, because I'm going to throw a crazy amount of money at him. $23 million. And then Burnett should be very, very cheap. 
Give him the five-year deal, even though we have one year left, so it doesn't really matter all too much. Yeah, we're good. So we have $19 million, and I'm just going to do it. Let's bring in David Bakhtiari. Give him a four-year deal. Increase the money. 99 total points. Does not beat out the Seahawks. Is that going to... It's always going to do like, oh, you need the more money. Yep, I get it. Why say I have the money then? I feel like I'm being trolled sometimes. Sometimes, he's not going to take that. I'm going to get turned down for the Seahawks. It's like I play this game way too much. Jerome Baker's up there. Don't need Bradbury. I don't know. Sure. Give him all the money. 110, a little much. But with one year left, I'm not too concerned about it. Bakhtiari. I, I, I knew he's going to turn us down too. All right, we got him. Let's go to the draft with our two first round picks. So we have the 15th and 18th pick. With a 15th pick, we're going middle linebacker Nicholas Wortham. He's a 70 forward normal. Not a big surprise. 89 speed, 82 tackles, 73 block shed, and 84 hit power. I don't like Kirk Cousins personally, but he is, he's playing better than Dalton. I'll give you that. With our other first round pick, let's go Jimmy Branch. I guess we don't need another middle linebacker. 73 normal. So in our final year, we're an 85 overall team with an 83 offense, 88 defense. The computer drafted a left guard with hidden development and a right tackle with hidden development. We're not going to start either of them. Mills is over to right tackle. I mean, the offensive line's pretty good. Jets up the star, finally, which is good. Holloway, I don't even know who that is, to be fair. Then on defense, Ingram's still starting. Burnett, Clay, Simmons up the X-Factor. So last year, let's see if we make the playoffs. Oh, we didn't make the playoffs again. We went 6-10. and 10. I just don't know what to do to make this team better. 4,300 yards, 37-10 and 10 is fantastic. Henry, 1,100 yards, 11 touchdowns. Jet, 1,000 with 11. Might finally be up to superstar. 9 for Brown, 900 yards. Beckham, 850 with 8. On defense, Evans 115, Wortham 104, the rookie is good. Sack total, 6 for Burnett. Interceptions, 2 for Farley. I don't know what to do. Zach Wilson, MVP. We do a pool at 6. There's Carden at 7, of course. Abbott at 10. Offensive player of the year, pool at 5. Defensive player of the year. Rookies. Wortham at 1. Branch at 9. And then in Super Bowl 60, the Bills took down the Eagles 31-7. Tredavious White, Super Bowl MVP. Before we end this video, I do want to take one more look at the roster. Why are we down to a 77? Who left? No one. Jet is up the superstar. So who did I bring in? So we lost, um, not Evans, Brown. So Brown retired, which is kind of strange. We brought in Ingram, Wortham. We brought in Irwin, Burnett, Clay, Bridge. I think that's it. I mean, if we signed Ronnie Harrison on offense pool, we had Cardin. I don't know why his name is blank. Jet we brought in. Foley we drafted. Mills we drafted. I don't know much I could do. That's going to be it for the video. Hit the like button down below. The subscribe button down below. And I'll see you next time.